Hello, cookbook friends. Welcome to the February 15 to 21 episode. 2022 is the year of Cookbook Divas, the podcast. Yay! Don't, don't forget, you can also watch our cookbook look throughs on YouTube. But today in this episode, my co-host Katie and I are going to talk about all the interesting new cookbooks coming out February 15 to 21, 2022. As always, with the current supply chain issues, these dates can be pushed back and move around. So don't yell at us if you can't buy the cookbook yet. Sorry. (laughs) I'm going to start us off because I'm looking at my wristwatch going, is it five o'clock yet? No, it's not. (laughs) I cannot pour a cocktail yet, but at least I can talk about a cocktail book. Coming out on February 15 from the Mango Publisher, The Bartender's Ultimate Guide to Cocktails, A Guide to Cocktail History, Culture, Trivia, and Favorite Drinks. Yum! Yay! You'll be able to peruse the interesting histories and lore of alcohol as you fill your cocktail glass and sip a drink handmade by you using one of the many artisanal yet simple recipes inside. Learn fun alcohol facts and tidbits you'll bring with you everywhere you go. Although I won't be Cliff Clavin and start telling people cocktail trivia. (laughs) Learn, concoct, and be merry. Are you brand new to alcohol and don't know where to start? Hint, don't start with White Claw. You can get hangovers. Okay, sorry. (laughs) Are you more experienced but looking for something that gives context to the art of your mixology? This bartender Bible is a cocktail codex combining excuse me, combining all the facets of alcohol and classic cocktails with recipes, traditions, stories, and more. You can step into yesteryear and peer at the history of classic cocktails through the lens of those who have created and loved mixed drinks throughout time. The author is Cheryl Charming, and they gather information from almost every corner of the drinking world and bring it all together in one fun, easy to read, and informative love letter to the heritage of the drinks we all love today. So inside, you can find recipes for basic bar drinks and classic cocktails everyone should know, like my favorite drink, the Manhattan. Mm, Yum. Advice from your favorite bartender on everything alcohol. Facts like what makes the perfect ice cube. Bar tool essentials and the best places to get specialty drinks or artisanal bitters. And cultural anecdotes, myths, and stories about drinks, their origins, and the rise to popularity. That is The Bartender's Ultimate Guide to Cocktails by Cheryl Charming. Ooh. my! So we're going to move into more family-oriented cookbooks. So things that you could either do with your family or they're really quick and easy cookbooks. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Family Comforts, Simple Heartwarming Food to Enjoy Together. This comes out February 15th. This is by Rebecca Wilson. Uh, an essential family. This is basically an essential family cookbook. You can find breakfasts, quick cook snacks, midweek meal idea, midnight meal ideas prepared in a matter of minutes. Uh, Enjoy simple home cooked food, delicious bakes, and family treats for a for big smiles and full tummies. There are over a hundred comfort food recipes that you can definitely rely on. They are apparently nutritionist approved meals that are all, that are also irresistible. They have adaptations to suit your family's dietary needs available for every recipe. So like gluten-free, egg-free, which is cool. They have dairy-free, vegan, vegetarian, all of that stuff. Mm. Um, There's handy tips and tricks for food prep and storage for batch cooking so you don't have to spend as much time in the kitchen and hang out with your family more so. So some of the chapters that you will find are breakfast brunch, quick comforts, midweek meals, slow cooker superheroes, and something sweet. So I see recipes for like a cinnamon breakfast bun. They have cheesy parsnip bites. Easy Baked Prawn Baguettes. There's also a delicious-looking mushroom risotto. And oh. for slow cookers, we have, some, we have like a hearty goulash soup, which is really interesting. I haven't seen goulash in a, in a lot of places lately. True. And then for something sweet, she has a chocolate cheesecake and a crumbly cinnamon biscuit. Yum, yum. So this is Family Comforts. This is by Rebecca Wilson. Next up, this is making me so look forward to spring. It's The Art of Picnics. Ooh. Seasonal Outdoor Entertaining by Alana O'Neill. The publisher is Yellow Pear Press. 
and I am only entertaining outside right now anyway because of the situation in the world. So I might have to pick this up. I also am entertaining with a not fully functional kitchen yeah. as we're going into renovation. So I don't have a kitchen sink. So I love entertaining outdoors and using plastic paper plates that we can throw away. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this cookbook is gorgeous inside. I love the photos. It is gourmet grazing for the great outdoors. Picnic ideas for your picnic basket. Oh, inside you'll find decor ideas with Woven rugs, crate tables, mismatched china, which is what we all have, right? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> and definitely. plush pillows. Ooh. Planning recommendations like fresh cut blooms, wine, and artisanal bread. An outdoor cookbook full of one of a kind recipes for sandwiches, grazing boards, and more. <sighs> I'm just daydreaming for a second. No. I am able to look inside thanks to Amazon. Let's take a peek. Table of contents. Oh, it's seasonal, but it starts with prepare and gather, pop up and pantry picnics. I like the Ooh. idea of that. I have a feeling it's like grab a jar of olives and run. <laughs> <laughs> seasonal spreads, spring, summer, autumn, winter. And then the last chapter is the parting glass, which I hope has something to do with cocktails. Ooh, that's cool. I love this. This would be a great gift book. Valentine's Day, someone's spring birthday it's the art of picnics seasonal outdoor entertaining by alana o'neill and last in this section we have cloda mckenna's new cookbook in minutes 10 20 30 how much time do you have tonight this comes out february 15th and i really love this because the whole cookbook is divided into three big chapters 10 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes so whatever amount of time you have She's provided that for you. So most cookbooks suggest menu choices focusing on giving focusing on giving you specific recipe ideas around occasions or like certain types of food. But this cookbook turns that concept on its head because most nights of the week, the cook at home will ask themselves, how much time do I actually have to make dinner tonight? That's so true. So Cloda has devised recipes that will fit to what time you have, showing you how to make things super quick 10-minute suppers that are packed with flavor. There's 20-minute meals that are very easy and 30-minute recipes that will please anyone sitting at your table. And they she not only provides the minutes and how much time, but also serving sizes as well uh, below each recipe. Let's see if I can peek in here and see what kind of recipe she has. She has under her 10 minute section, a warm lentil salad with goat cheese. Ooh, yum. It looks beautiful too. A taco salad. She has another, another salad under the 10 minute recipe, but that is all I can see right now. But these look really tasty. The, the pictures are really crisp and clear and bright. So I can't wait to look through at this uh, cookbook. It's called In Minutes, 10, 20, 30. How much time do you have tonight? This is by Cloda McKenna. My next book is a reprint of the famous and wonderful Miette Bakery Cookbook. It's Miette Recipes from San Francisco's Most Charming Pastry Shop. It comes out February 15, 2022. The last edition of it was back in 2011, and I bought it and own it and love it. The author is Meg Ray. Leslie Jonath Frankie Frankeny is the photographer. That was a mouthful. <laughs> it is a gorgeous pastry book. Inside, you'll find recipes such as a strawberry charlotte, chocolate sables, lime meringue tart, and more. There's 75 gorgeous color photos, so that tells me if there's 100 recipes, not every recipe has a photo. Too bad. That's okay. It's still a classic that's now been refreshed for nowadays. Yeah. And I can't see the inside of the refreshed edition. Anyway, if you've never owned me yet, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. And it's a great Valentine's Day gift. By the way, if you're interested in these cookbooks, you can find affiliate links below in the show notes for the podcast and on our blog as well for the episode page. And you can click them to buy the cookbooks and we'll get a few pennies from Amazon. So thank you for that. Yes. Katie, what book is next on your list now that I'm done revisiting me yet? I have The Sourdough Whisperer, The Secrets to No-Fail Baking with Epic Results. This is by Elaine Body. It comes out February 15. 
And I like this because as somebody who's gluten-free, usually sourdough is something I can eat. I'm not sure why. I need to look Mm. that up, but that is what I have heard. Wow. So uh, if you have any sourdough questions, you will get all of those questions answered in this cookbook. In the sourdough world, where recipes and methods can get really complicated really fast, Elaine keeps everything simple. This is an all-in-one handbook, and she shares her tips, tricks, and troubleshooting tools for amazing sourdough successes. Uh, There's there's practical solutions to every obstacle, whether it's a busy schedule. I know a lot of people refuse to make bread because it's so busy. I mean, we're all super busy. Uh, She talks about how to do a slow-to-grow starter, or she helps us with overproof dough. So she is really trying to make this very accessible to us so it encourages us to actually try to cook our own sourdough bread or create our own sourdough starters. I'm up for it. I know. I, I kind of, me too. I really want, I want homemade bread. I didn't so, actually succumb to that in the early days of the pandemic. I wasn't a bread baker. I was more of a closet cleaner and home reorganizer. Yes. So I feel like I missed out on all of the bread baking that all my friends were doing. Plus, I couldn't get a hold of any flour or yeast back then. Oh, and God. I can now. So I have no excuse. Right. Me too. We should bake bread together. Let's do it. So she provides 40 awesome recipes. Uh, That includes buttery jam-filled rolls. Oh, that sounds delicious. Crusty seed studded loaves. She has ciabatta, baguettes, and pizza in her cookbook. She also has really awesome flavorful creations of her own, like turmeric and onion seed sandwich loaf or apricot and almond babka loaf, which I am trying not to drool. Oh, man. So this all sounds really amazing. She has gorgeous photography for every single recipe. So now you know exactly what you're going into. That helps so so much. I love that. Me too. So this is the Sourdough Whisper. This is by Elaine Body. My next cookbook is Plant You. 140 plus ridiculously easy, amazingly delicious, plant-based, but wait for it, all oil-free recipes. Whoa. That's interesting. I happen to love oil, but I'd probably be healthier (laughs) if I don't cook with so much of it. Uh, Me too. The the author is Carly Bodrug, and also the foreword is by a medical doctor. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) The publisher is Hatchet Go. Plant-based eating doesn't have to be complicated. The delicious recipes in this easy-to-follow cookbook are guaranteed to keep you inspired and motivated. It's an oil-free, plant-based cookbook with over 140 healthy vegan recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, cheese sauces, salad dressings, dessert, and more. Yum. I would say fake cheese sauces because they're not cheese, but whatever. I'm sure they're tasty. So she is the founder of the wildly popular social media community, Plant You, and provides readers with the ultimate full-color guidebook that makes plant-based meal planning grocery shopping, and cooking a breeze. That's nice to have all three components of that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can peek inside a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Table of contents. Ooh, pretty. I saw a pink page and freaked out. Okay, chapter one is plant-filled mornings. Chapter two is Super Bowls. Chapter three, Sammies and salads. Chapter four, the main event with things like a step staple tempe stir-fry Butter chickpeas, cozy sweet potato peanut stew. Ooh. Chapter five is Let's Get Saucy with hummus three ways, salad dressings, vegan cheese sauces, salsas. Chapter six is simple sides like quick pickled red onions. Chapter seven, plant filled desserts such as peanut butter thumbprint cookies, peach crumble, and some hot bevies. Woo! That is Plant You by Carly Bodrug. And my final cookbook of today is the Fresh Eggs Daily Cookbook. Over a hundred fabulous recipes to use eggs in unexpected ways. This comes out February 15th, and this is by Lisa Steele. She is a fifth generation chicken keeper. Uh, (laughs) Perfect. I know. She knows her eggs. (laughs) Exactly. I was like, this is perfect. She has a blog called Fresh Eggs Daily. So obviously she definitely knows her eggs. 
So first, Lisa will tell you everything you don't know about eggs, and that means what different labels on grocery store egg cartons mean, and she busts some common egg myths. I'm actually curious because I I see so many egg cartons at the grocery store and I don't know what ones to choose. I <laughs> and I'm like, what's the difference? So it'd be kind of cool that to see. That is hard. Yeah. I want to also know about the egg myths. She then goes and provides us with foundational techniques for cooking with eggs. That includes things like steaming, grilling, baking, and frying them. And then she goes on to share her awesome recipes from breakfast staples like Eggs Benedict, oh, my favorite, and a classic French trifled omelet, quote. She also goes into breads, sandwiches, beverages, snacks, soups, salads, pasta, cakes, pies, and condiments, all using eggs. So you'll encounter a wide variety of both sweet and savory dishes with Lisa's unique eggy twist. So that sounds really interesting. I can't look inside. The cover of this cookbook looks really great and super tasty. It's like a piece of bread with uh, with an egg and hollandaise sauce. It looks like an eggs benedict sandwich, essentially, and I'm Ooh. like dying over here. Yes. So this is the Fresh Eggs Daily Cookbook. This is by Lisa Steele. I love how we always eat lunch right before recording a cookbook <sighs> podcast, and then half an hour later, I'm like, I'm dying because this all sounds so good. I know. And we just ate. That's terrible. <laughs> ah. my, my final cookbook, I could not be more excited for. I'm almost weeping with joy. <laughs> it is yet another cookbook by Dahlia Clearwater. Love, love, love her cookbooks. She does fan cookbooks for shows like Bridgerton. And now this one is Recipes for Royals. An unofficial cookbook for fans of The Crown. Oh my god, cool. Ah, I love that show. Yeah. It's coming out just in time for, I think we get the next season of The Crown in July, I hope. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Yeah. So, Recipes for Royals comes out February 15. The author is Dahlia Clearwater. The publisher is Skyhorse, one of our favorite cookbook publishers. She gives us 75 delectable recipes in the traditions of Buckingham Palace, Downing Street, and Commonwealth countries far and wide, including One Night in Kenya Soup, The Iron Lady's Kedgeree, Mushroom Risotto Fit for a Prince, Life-Changing Orange Duck, mm. The Queen's Chocolate Perfection Pie, A Menage a Trois Mousse, Oh, <laughs> Naughty, Oh, Goodness, and Will's Favorite Chocolate Biscuit Cake. Ah! Ooh. I'm sure it will have gorgeous photos just like her other cookbooks does. Can't wait for it. That's Recipes for Royals, an unofficial cookbook for fans of the TV series The Crown. Yay! That's so cool. So that wraps up the brand new cookbook releases for the third week of February 2022. Don't worry, there is a whole slew of new cookbooks coming out in March, but hopefully these will keep you a little occupied until then. If you enjoy our podcast, make sure to share it with your other cookbook friends. We would also love a rating and review. You can also join us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. We like to do a lot of cookbook look-throughs, and you get to see pictures. I know that's my favorite part, and these are all amazing cookbooks we try to offer you. Stay tuned for next week where we wrap up the last week of February. We will see you guys soon.